I've got Lego hair. It's actually coming in, and it's coming in on my beard. We'll talk about this and all sorts of good stuff today on the Fit for Any Battle podcast. Welcome to the Fit for Any Battle podcast. My name is Richard Bagdonis. I'm the author of Fit for Any Battle, and this podcast has been about explaining all of the challenges that I've had going through aggressive prostate cancer. To recap on where we are, last November, uh, so November of 2022, I was diagnosed with aggressive prostate cancer. They removed my prostate, and then in January, I went into six rounds of chemotherapy. They were a round of chemotherapy, three weeks to rest, a week of chemotherapy and on. So that went on for uh, quite a while. And then I was given a month off and then put into daily radiation therapy Monday through Friday for eight weeks. I'm proud to say that I have finished seven of those weeks. I am 87 and a half percent of the way done with radiation treatment. I have five more treatments to go. And let me tell you what's been going on. The last time that I talked about my challenges, um, I had a coworker of mine review the video. And he said that uh, he had never understood a coworker's intestinal and uh, uh, diarrhea challenges uh, ever. <laughs> so that this is to continue on with that because I wanna be transparent and open with you. Um, they reduced the size of the area that they were irradiating from a fairly large one down to a smaller one. In fact, on Tuesday, for the last three treatments, they'll reduce it even smaller, so I'll have less effects. The larger uh, area was causing me to have really bad diarrhea. Um, that was causing me to not uh, absorb nutrients as much. As such, I had a lot of fatigue, and I actually had to stop working out except for biking. And so for the last week, two weeks, actually, I have only been biking. I haven't been lifting weights. At the end of this coming week, when I finish radiation treatment, I am going to start lifting weights again. Um, the intestinal issues that I've had have started to clear up. So I've been hanging on to that last emodium for about two days now. And thankfully, nothing's come about it. I'm having normal intestinal uh, flow. I'm absorbing my nutrients. I just had a wonderful lunch and I don't feel like it's coming back to bite me. Um, so that should continue through the week. And if it does, I'm going to start um, just adding a little extra cardio beyond the two days a week of biking. Now let's talk about this Lego hair that I have. If you can see it, um, it's actually getting darker. What I noticed uh, is that not only are there small dark hairs growing, which is filling in the field with more dark hair, the hairs that seem to have lost their color, they didn't go necessarily gray, they almost went clear during chemotherapy. It seems as though, and this is not an uncommon occurrence, so it's nothing special, but it is kind of unique in that the color has come back into many of those hairs. Uh, you will notice that I do have a beard that's starting to come back in and it's darkening up a bit. So I feel very corporate. <laughs> I feel very uh, uh, lacking in my beard game. However, it's coming back. The hair on my body has come back. It's come back really well. The leg hair is now about almost three eighths of an inch long. Um, and my nails that had rings in them from all the chemotherapy treatments have finally gotten rid of the last ring. So I, I feel like my body has come to the point where it's no longer worrying about chemotherapy. So we're going to take a quick break. And when we get back, we're going to talk about the follow-up information that I have and what's happening with my fatigue. Stay tuned. You know, going through prostate cancer is really tough. It's been one of the most challenging things that I have had to go through in my medical career. The problem is that everybody in my support group wants to reach out and check in on me from time to time. However, what that means is a lot of text messages, a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, and then people are posting on Twitter and Facebook and other places where I'm just not going to these days. 
That's where Update Everyone comes in. With Update Everyone, they assign me a telephone number. That telephone number is something that I can have people subscribe to by just sending the message hi to that phone number. The way that I got it to them is I sent an email out or I responded to people that contacted me and said, hey, by the way, send a message hi to this number and you'll be subscribed to my updates. Then each time something changes, maybe I have a new therapy treatment that I have happen or something is not feeling right. I can send a message to that phone number by sending a text message to it. And the system sends an individual text message to each person that's subscribed. What this means is I only have to go to one place, send one message, and it gets to every single person. And the beauty on the other side is people don't have to have an app. They don't have to go somewhere. The message just shows up in their text messages. And if they reply, it doesn't go to anyone else. It doesn't even come directly to me. It goes to update everyone. And then I log in and I can see all the nice text messages that people have sent me. So if I'm looking for that inspiration of, man, I'm not feeling good today, I just need some you know, words of encouragement. I can go on the updateeveryone.com site, look on the messages that people have sent and regain that sense of purpose and that strength that I need for my support group. So be sure to check out updateeveryone.com and sign up today. Thanks to that sponsor for sponsoring the Fit for Any Battle podcast. As I mentioned, we're gonna talk about some fatigue that I've been having. This fatigue is really unusual and this is where Chemotherapy was actually easier to deal with than radiation treatments. Uh, Beth Hellerstedt at Texas Oncology heard me say that the other day, and she said, go into that uh, waiting room and tell every single person in there that chemotherapy isn't as bad. Uh, I had an unusually easy chemotherapy process because I was working out every day, uh, lifting five days a week, biking two days of the week. Now that I'm in radiation treatment, my body is fatigued, not because of the, the chemotherapy or even the radiation itself. It's fatigued because my body is not absorbing as much nutrition as I'm putting into it. This fatigue expressed itself this week when I was biking up some hills on Wednesday night. Uh, the sun was beating down. It was probably 106 degrees when we first started, and I was exhausted. This was the first time I've ever had to walk my bike up a hill. And at the very end, I walked my bike up the hill. I had to catch my breath. It was just, it was kicking my butt for sure. Uh, that fatigue has started to wane a bit as my body is now starting to fully absorb the nutrients and I'm not having any sort of lack of, lack of absorption. So that is working out really well. I hope that continues into this coming week. And at the end of this week, I am done. I am done, done. My wife, children, and I are going to celebrate that this nine months of treatment is finally over and we can get back to just being normal people who don't talk about their health issues every, every second that they get. Now, I did receive some follow-up instructions the other day. Uh, the folks at uh, Urology Austin uh, sent me home with something. And the interesting thing is the urologist is going to meet with me one month after I complete radiation. So in about five weeks from now. The radiation oncologist, so my oncologist is gonna meet with me four months after my completion. And then I'm gonna have a radiation oncologist appointment on every 12 months based on the results of my PSA, that prostate stimulating antigen, which is that blood test that tells us what, how much our prostate is working and if it's too high or it moves too fast uh, in the upward direction, it indicates that there's prostate cancer or a potential for it. The uh, diet, they said I can return to my normal diet as, pot, as, as recommended. Keep a modium handy. Dude, I've been eating those things like candy lately, except for the last couple of days. And just get back to a normal life. Uh, they said uh, limit alcohol consumption to no more than two drinks a day. I'm currently at zero and have been at zero for about seven or eight years, so I'm good there. And they said, and this is the most important thing that I saw out of this under exercise. People that exercise, keep in mind, you fit fab warriors, are able to keep their cancer in remission longer. That means if you've had cancer or are going through cancer or are thinking that at some point you might go through a health battle, start working out today. Go to fitforanybattle.com, find the book, listen to the podcasts, grab the mobile app, 
hit the gym. It will walk you through everything you need. Now, they did say we, walk, we recommend that you walk moderately at least three hours per week. I am biking seven hours a week um, intensely, so I think I'm good there. And if you have in limitations to exercise due to joint or muscle issues, talk to a physical therapist on adaptive exercises. Now, this is the important thing. They talk about getting injured. The reason why I published Fit for Any Battle was to show you a set of exercises contained within a program that allows you to prevent injuries. And if you have injuries, it helps you fix your injuries. Um, that was the whole reason that this thing came together was to share not only the story about my initial battle with stage four lymphoma back in 2018, but to also explain to you the workout methodology I used during that. And then the podcast, Fit for Any Battle podcast, shows you how well I've done with chemotherapy and how well I've done with radiation because I brought a strong body. Even though I haven't been working out the last couple of weeks, my body is, in, is feeling really good. I can tell there's a little more inflammation than usual. However, that is typically something that shows up when we don't work out. We're getting older, we're gonna have health battles, and the way to get through those health battles is with a workout program. I happen to recommend the Fit for Any Battle one, but whichever one you choose, make sure you get into the gym, stay away from injuries. I'll be pinging you after the last radiation uh, appointment next week, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.